Hi friends, this is Kazel and today I am going to show you how I will be planning for the month of September. The digital planner that I will be using today is completely free and if you want to grab it, you can join our Facebook group and once you are a member, you can download the digital planner from there. The link of our Facebook group is down in the description box and in the pinned comment below. Also, make sure to watch until the end to see how this digital planner works and where all the hyperlinks are located. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe now for more digital planning videos and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be the first to know when new videos are uploaded. This is the cover page and to design it further, I took a screenshot and imported it to Procreate. Here in the Procreate app, I'm going to select the area that I want the design to be at and just gonna save that selection. I will be using pictures for the design elements and everything will be from Unsplush and I will link the collection of all the pictures I will be using in this video down in the description box below. Here I have chosen the picture for my cover page and I downloaded and copied it. Then I went back to Procreate. To see how this would look like, I'm going to use the selection to mask the area that I want the copied picture to be at. Now that I am satisfied with the position of the picture, I am going to erase parts of the picture that I won't be needing. To make the cover page look more like a notebook, I am adding a line here and turning on the Gaussian Blur. I'm also decreasing the opacity. Then I'm just gonna add September 2021. The design is the only thing that I want from this, so I'm going to group them all, then duplicate. Then flatten the duplicate, and using the split screen, I'm going to copy the flattened image to good notes. Resize and reposition the image, and we are done with the cover page. From the cover page, you can tap anywhere on the notebook cover, and it will take you to my message page. You can access this video that you are watching right now here and all my social media accounts. You can also access the different sections of the planner using the tabs. Let's go to the next page which is the calendar page and each row of this table is linked to its specific week and of course you can use the tabs on the side. As what we did with the cover page, I also took a screenshot of the calendar page then import it to Procreate. Uh, please don't mind that picture there because I ended up not using it, but the process where I saved the selection and added the mask for the area I want my design to be located in is still the same. Then again, I downloaded a photo from Unsplush. This time, I saved it to my photo gallery, then went back to Procreate. Insert the photo, then reposition it. Thank you. 
and after that erase the areas I won't be needing from the image. After adding the labels, dates, and all of those, I grouped all the essential layers, then duplicated the group. Then flattened the duplicate and copy it to good notes. I like starting my week on a Monday, but I know that there are also some of you or maybe a lot of you prefer starting their week on a Sunday, so I left the days of the week blank so this planner can cater on to your different preferences. One fun thing to do in GoodNotes is to add some shadow effect in your handwriting and I will show you how to achieve that effect. First, write down the words. Then using the lasso tool, select the handwriting, then copy. Tap on the selected handwriting again and recolor it to the color you want your drop shadows to be. Then long press on the screen and select paste. Now reposition the copied handwriting to create the shadow effect. You can access the individual weekly sections from the calendar. Just tap the upper portion of each of the boxes. I used to add my monthly to-do list on my calendar page but I realized I usually use my weekly and daily pages for my to-do list so now I'm just going to use my calendar page to see the month's overview and this time I will only be adding my work location, schedule, holidays, and anticipated important dates like birthdays and other special events. And throughout the month, I will be coming back here a lot to write down a summary of additional memorable days. Let's access the tracker page next so I'm gonna repeat all the process of what we did in the cover page and the calendar page. If the image is too vibrant for your liking, you can adjust the opacity and the hue, saturation, and brightness of the image here in Procreate. I only added 4 tables here where I will track down actions that I want to constantly do every day. The first and second actions are to close my move, exercise, and stand rings on my Apple Watch and to drink at least 2 liters of water every single day. I have been slacking with this too, so I will be using this tracker to psych me up in completing them. The third one is about my sleep schedule. I always aim for an 8 hour sleep, but lately it's been all over the place and one problem I realize is that I do not go to bed at the same time every night, so I will be tracking how I'll be performing on my sleeping schedule this September. 
the last one will be about learning something new uh, whether it's about self-improvement about arts or my work for the trackers i still want to have the dates but i don't want to repeat writing each of them so i just copied the dates from the calendar page the spacing wasn't nice for the trackers so i used the selection tool and the arrow icon to adjust them Once I am satisfied with how it looks, I duplicated it and added dates to the other trackers. And to finalize the design, I'm going to erase the unnecessary parts of the photo. Create the flattened image and copy it to GoodNotes. It may look easy in this video, but I took a long time repositioning and resizing the design, so if you are taking more time, that is okay. Knowing your finances for me is very important, so I added a finances page where you can input your monthly budget, your savings, and your investments. I also added a space where you can keep track of your cash flows. is all we are Oh, it's dust, dust, dust Dust is all The next section is my brain dump page or my distraction page. I'm not going to add anything on this page for now, but all throughout the month, I will probably use this excessively. Now let's design the weekly pages and I'm again going to repeat the process we have been doing. For the background, I will only be using just one picture which I will duplicate and flip horizontally. It won't be that noticeable since we only have small gaps between the boxes. This table here is used for a small calendar so I'm just gonna add the dates and I won't be copying the dates from the calendar page this time. 
The two boxes here on top of the page can be used any way that you want but for me I will be using the first one as my inspirational or vision board and the second one as my memory board. So for the inspirational slash vision board, I'm just going to add some pictures from Unsplash again. Since this page is for the first week of September, there will be three boxes that we won't be using. So I decided to use a two as a creative space and the other one as a space for my weekly to-dos. After all the designing process, I group all the layers, then duplicate, and then flatten. Now let's copy it to GoodNotes. The additional links on this page aside from the tabs on this side are the links in the mini calendar. Each row is linked to a specific week. There is another page for the weekly section but I won't be adding any design element on the page because I prefer my journaling pages to be just an empty dotted page. The links for week 2 to week 5 are the same with the links in week 1 so the navigation will be the same. I hope this is helpful and don't forget to grab the free digital planner through our Facebook page and if you want more digital planning content, you can check these videos here. This is Kazel and until next time, bye!